Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Webcar.my and right now I'm in Bangkok for the 36th Thailand International Motor Expo to check out the all-new Honda City. The Honda City is now in its fifth generation and is still one of the largest B-segment sedans out there. Compared to its predecessor, it's now longer, wider and sits lower to the ground. I think the press images you see online don't do the car justice because after looking at it up close, the new Honda City looks pretty sharp in person and not as rounded as netizens paint it to be. If you want to dial things up a few notches, you can go for the Modulo or RS package. But what stood out to me is that the wheelbase of the new car is 11mm shorter than the model it replaces. Now what this means is that having a shorter wheelbase usually means a smaller cabin inside. But knowing Honda, the wizards of interior packaging, I think that the rear cabin space is equal, if not more, than the previous car. Let's check it out ourselves. Oh. So I have the front seats adjusted to my usual driving position. I'm 175cm tall and yeah, no complaints about the rear space at all. Check it out. Headroom is pretty decent too, but it does feel a little bit smaller than the previous city. On higher spec models, you get a centre armrest, but lower grade variants don't have an armrest. Now, I know that Malaysia specs Honda City, we have rear air vents, but for the Thai market, even the previous generation city does not come with rear air vents, so it remains to be seen whether our Malaysian local spec will get rear air vents or not. I've never quite fancied the previous gen city's cabin because I feel it's a little bit all over the place, not very cohesive. The new one is just stunning. Look at this nicely integrated touchscreen infotainment system measuring 8 inches with Apple CarPlay connectivity. Curiously, it doesn't have Android Auto. And down here, you have physical button and rotary knobs for the climate control. The previous Gen City has a touch panel which I feel is a gimmick and not practical at all. You also get a new multifunctional steering wheel and on selected variants, you get pedal shifters too. But what's a bit of a letdown in here is this instrument cluster panel. It's not as fancy or attractive as the previous gen's display. It feels very analog in here. But what's even more of a letdown is that the new city still uses a mechanical handbrake. The new Jazz that was launched in Japan uses an electronic parking brake already. Let's continue with the exterior walk around. Now, a lot of people have very mixed feelings about the exterior styling of the new city, but I personally quite like it. The 3D effect on the tail lamps reminds me of a BMW 3 Series, and I like how the side mirrors have moved on from the A-pillars onto the doors. It makes the car a lot smoother. And all variants, even the lowest grade ones, no longer comes with halogen reflector headlamps. They are now halogen projector units. The highlight of this city is this new 1.0-litre 3-cylinder VTEC turbo engine that pumps out 122 PS at 173 Nm of torque. The engine is paired to a CVT automatic. Now this engine will be available for the Thailand market because it allows the city to be compliant with their Thai Eco Car Phase 2 program. We've detailed why this engine will not be coming to Malaysia, so be sure to head on to webcar.my to read all about it. But my biggest problem with the all-new, brand-new, New generation Honda City is that it doesn't have any form of ADAS whatsoever. No autonomous emergency braking, no forward collision warning, not even blind spot monitoring. Come on Honda, it's gonna be 2020 soon. For the Malaysian market, don't expect Honda Malaysia to launch the all-new Honda City anytime soon because they will have to prepare their facilities to locally assemble this new generation car. My best guess is probably one year or later. For more information of the all-new Honda City, head on over to webcar.my. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for other videos on the Thailand International Motor Expo. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, give us a like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it from me, Adrian for webcar.my. See you guys in the next one.